And today we're taking a look at a wireless Bluetooth gamepad that works with your TV, your PC, smartphone, or tablet. And if that's not all, it's under $20. And sometimes you can even find it under $15. And this bad boy can work with iPhone and Android. It can also work with your Amazon Fire Stick, Fire TV, your Smart TV, your TV box, your PC. And if the price is not enough, it's rechargeable. So that means you don't have to spend extra money on batteries. Everything used on the video, we're going to leave a link on the video description. And this particular gamepad does not have a name brand, nor on the box or in the controller itself. But it does have two model numbers, and that's the BM707 or the BM727. We have been testing this gamepad controller for about two months with no issues. It responds well, and it keeps a good charge. We can go days or up to a week without charging it. We get two joysticks. We get an X, a Y, a B, a A button, a start, a select, and on the back, we get a R1, a R2, a L1, an L2 button. And this bad boy connects via Bluetooth 4.0. So that means you could get good gameplay up to 10 meters or 32.8 feet. Even for the cheap price, it feels well built. It's very lightweight and compact. It does not feel slippery. And if you don't want to connect it via Bluetooth, you can use the USB cable provided and connect it directly to your device. One of the drawbacks, it's a mini USB connection. We would have hoped for a micro or a type C, but for the price, we can't complain. If you don't have a Bluetooth connection on your PC or TV box, you can use the BM703 mini receiver according to the manual. And that's something you would have to purchase separately. I will leave a link for that on the description. And it also comes with a cell phone holder. And that's good if you want to play on the go. One drawback that we do see is depending on the weight of your phone, this being a very heavy phone, when flipping the gamepad around, having the cell phone holder, it does not hold the weight very well. But if you're going to be gaming and looking at the phone, then you don't have no issues. Let's go ahead and place this gamepad to the test. And to get it in pairing mode, you want to hold the X button and the home button for five seconds. If using iOS, then you want to hold the Y button and the home button. If using iCAD mode, then you want to hold the B button and the home button. And remember, this is for five seconds. And you want to turn on the device using the home button as well to turn it off, even though it automatically shuts off after a while without use. So let's game, but let's go old school. And for that, we're going to play Sonic the Hedgehog. And once again, we notice that the response time is good. What we do need to get is better at gaming. And let's show these bad guys who's the boss. And we're going to show them that by dying a couple of times. And maybe just a few extra times, just in case they don't believe we could die. Sonic speed time. But now let's go ahead and try it on our TV. And for that, we're going to use the Mi Box S. If you want to check our video on that, we're going to leave a link on the description. And let's go ahead and try it with Asphalt 8 airborne and we're going to use this title because even when you lose it looks cool and as you can tell even me not being that good it responds very well we've been testing this gamepad controller for about three months and have not found any issues overall in our testing we give it two thumbs up first because of the price second you don't need rechargeable batteries it's very responsive and it's built in a way that wherever you put your fingers at, you're still going to be comfortable. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, 
place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.